so on the 1st of uh, February uh, at 6 p.m. we closed Route 70 at Wyal for the installation of a Bailey Bridge. So there's five different contractors all working together. You had Downer and Titans working together for the Bailey Bridge installation. Uh, you had Fulton Hogan who also helped out on their cranes. You had Lot, the local contractors who installed the earth ramp on the Christchurch side of the bridge and Wymax Civil who installed the guardrail. Big shout outs to Emma Lucas, the project manager from the Downer Bailey Bridge crew and also Daniel Helm who is a temporary works designer. Uh, so yeah, they were both there for the 12 uh, hour closure and uh, yeah, it was good to work closely with them to make sure everything uh, got done in a 12 hour window so we were well prepared. Uh, there was also a big shout out to uh, Mike Sturgis, from the, he's the Fulton Hogan crane operator. So following the uh, installation of the Bailey Bridge, uh, we still need to complete the permanent piles. So there's four around Pier 32, uh, they've been complete and there's two further permanent piles to install for replacing the abutment 34 to allow us to jack the bridge up. So the scope from the Wyo Bridge Nectar project, uh, we're replacing one abutment on the Christchurch side, abutment 34, and we're replacing one pier, pier 32, and there is uh, concrete repairs uh, through the whole width of the Wyo Bridge. There is a lot of risk on the project, like with the weather and that, so if it does rain in the west coast, we get all the river flows down at the Wyo, and the nature of working in a river is if the river comes up, sometimes there's no work. A perfect program, sunny days, I'd like to be out of there uh, May time, but I would allow for June for uh, yeah, some delays with that wet weather.